Let's continue with our practice on a CSWA simple exams, Certified Soldwork Associate. This is the best way to get prepared for soldwork exams and to become a certified designer. Be on the top among competitors. On the part number two, we'll focus on uh, the question number four. We'll do as we did in the part number one, where we design this part and uh, answer all the question number three. Let's get started. Okay, so we have done the in the part number one, which is uh, we answer all the question number three. So the question number three asks to design this uh, model as we did, and they ask as well uh, to find out the overall mass of the parts so and they give us all the the the, the possible answers and we got the, the line d which is uh, as you can see here 939.54 grams that the mass for this part here let's just see go back and make sure that uh, we got uh, we are here so evaluate mass property so if you go there so we have this result here 939.54 grams which is line d so be in mind that your answer should be 100% or 99% maximum, not uh, less than that. So um, as you can see here, right, if you find an option within 1% of your answer, please recheck your sold wall. So if you, if you don't find, so your option should be within 1% uh, of your answer. So should be within 1%. This means that uh, your answer should be at least or oh, 99% or oh, 100%. So if you have uh, like 100% uh, or oh, if, you, if, you, if you fail uh, above 1%, so this means that you should reshake your mod. So if you go to the answer key of this, uh, of the answer, just go back to the answer key. So we get the same result okay so uh, this is uh, question number three as you can see is uh, the option uh, right is option d which is 939.54 gram which is also the one we have here okay now today we're gonna answer the question number four the question number four they ask to modify let's just here go back to the question number four they, they ask here to modify the part in, in a solo arc so go, gonna modify and we're gonna use here different parameter as well which is abc so this is the question number four and then at the end we're gonna hear uh, um, answer the the part so what is the overall mass of the part so after we we make all the change we're gonna make this only let's now here go ahead and answer the question number four so for that we're gonna here uh, right goes to the parameter which is here right in the equation just come here right click right click and then manage they ask to change a by 84 just come here right and then change a by 84 b by 59 c by 45 and then click ok click ok now make sure that uh, you as well come here and then rebuild rebuild again now after you make the change and then also, also check material is the same one and the density is also the same one so we don't want to change the material now let's here go and check if uh, now they ask what is the mass of the parts in the grams let's here go ahead to the mass of the part come here right mass of the part as you can see so we have here a change the mass of the part right now is 1032.32 grams let's now here check if we have the same result with the one we have in the answer key. Let's just go back to the answer key and we're gonna see if we have the same results. So you can see here, right? So we have 1032.32 grams, question number four, and it is also the same we have here. So we have also answered this question with 100% of the answer key. So that's good, so we are in the right track. So now let's here go next. In the next uh, videos, we'll hear answer the question number five. Thank you so much for watching this uh, tutorial and please consider to subscribe, share with friends and as well consider to watch this video right here. See you to the next one.